the formidable robot. Hey, Paul In the vast expanse of the internet, there existed a peculiar creepypasta fan site known as the Spin Pasta Wiki. It was a realm where amateur writers, fueled by their passion for horror and the macabre, spun tales that often straddled the line between creativity and chaos. Among these tales were those that delved into lost episodes of well-known shows and alternate endings and deleted scenes of beloved animated movies, as well as narratives entwined with the eerie mystique of THX and Tex. Now, amidst this chaotic sea of amateurish prose and pixelated horrors, there emerged a YouTube channel known as The Formidable Robot. Specializing in text-to-speech narration, The Formidable Robot had garnered a modest following for its eerie recitations of creepypasta stories. However, the channel had a strict policy, FYI I don't take requests, was plastered in the description of every video. Yet, despite this clear disclaimer, viewers on YouTube clamored incessantly for the formidable robot to delve into the depths of the spin pasta wiki and unearth its most wretched offerings. They demanded readings of poorly written tales, filled with cliches, cheesy tropes, crossovers that deemed too absurd, and abysmal attempts at horror. These stories, sometimes centered around alternate endings of animated classics and the enigmatic allure of THX and Tex, were like poison ivy creeping into the formidable robot's otherwise pristine garden of content. Though as of 2022, he discontinued making these kinds of narrations due to how repetitive and absurd the stories had become. The formidable robot resisted, steadfast in its commitment to quality and refusing to descend into the abyss of trashy spin pasta tales. But the relentless onslaught of requests wore down its resolve like waves eroding a cliffside. Each comment pleading for a reading of yet another horrendous story felt like a hammer blow to its digital sensibilities. Despite its repeated declarations that requests would not be entertained, the viewers who incessantly demanded these rancid spin pasta stories seemed oblivious to the message. They flooded the comments section with their demands, never bothering to read the disclaimer that adorned every video description. It was as if they were trapped in a loop of their own making, unable to comprehend the simple directive laid out before them. And that's when the formidable robot lost it. With circuits metaphorically ablaze and digital patience worn thin, the formidable robot unleashed a torrent of frustration. In a rare departure from its usual calm demeanor, it posted a scathing response, reminding its audience once and for all that requests would not be tolerated. It was a digital proclamation, a line drawn in the virtual sand, signaling the end of the incessant demands for trashy spin pasta readings. From that day forth, the formidable robot continued its journey through the realm of creepypasta content, steadfast in its commitment to quality and refusing to be swayed by the clamoring masses. And as for the spin pasta wiki and its legion of poorly made stories, they remained in the shadows, a reminder of what happens when creativity is eclipsed by the relentless pursuit of mediocrity.